Yo, what's up guys, it's Master Twain Denny, and today we have Lucifer Season 3, Episode 20. Now, uh, the little break's over, so we'll finally get back to this. Uh, Lucifer looks like he's losing it a little bit. Maze is working with Pierce, a bitch, that's a very bitch thing to do. Um, and yeah, it looks like Kane's still using Chloe for some reason, I just don't know why, I don't know how using him makes him die. Ah, uh, it's confusing. Alright, 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 alright. So, you ready? Let's have a look at what's going on, shall we? Previously on Lucifer. God cursed Cain be- How was that? Good morning, Detective Decker. Good morning, Lieutenant Pierce. A great closet, and I'm there you go. Oh, ha, ha. oh damn. Oh god. It's always nice to start the day nose to nose, isn't it? Speaking of, you'll never guess what happened to me last night, Detective. What's that? Yeah, enter. Absolutely not. No, Pierce and I only came, drove together. Apparently, victims from a well connected family. The suits downtown want me to keep them in the loop. Don't worry, I won't interfere with the investigation or the uh, dream team. Uh-uh. Help you excuse me. Okay. Shall we? <clears throat> She's enjoying this way too much. You have DNA on your shirt. What? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, they did it in the closet. He was wearing a mask. I would be dead for sure if God hadn't sent that angel to protect me. So there's someone else in the house. Not another person. An angel. Who saved me? It, it it flew in here and it, it just chased the evil man away. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Is there anything my siblings would chase away or a good time? Seriously, is it one of your brothers? Preposterous! My father doesn't send my siblings down to intervene in petty robberies in Bacoima. He only sends them to harass me. Uh, oh, and speaking of, hello. I really want to be one of those. I want to see another angel. What's so dastardly important? Okay, Lucy, I think we made a mistake. Revealing divinity. I'd love to meet Azrael. <laughs> we was your idea. Or the horseman. Having second thoughts, what if she tells someone? I mean, it would have to be one very bored or deeply confused angel. <laughs> yeah. And there's the figurine. It's Lucifer, isn't it? He's doing it when he's passed out. God damn it. Including one where you couldn't control your wings. I've also dreamt I was king of the centaur people. Doesn't mean I'm gonna start wearing horseshoes. There have been instances where people sleepwalk when they're having difficulty dealing with painful situations. Oh. Or inversely not <clears throat> dealing with them. Is it possible you're not dealing with something? And thus sleep flying? That's absurd. I mean, what in the world could I not be dealing with? Oh, I don't know. Chloe and Pierce, maybe? Good, you're here. We need to find the killer. Is this that super important thing you said you needed to talk to me about? No, I don't understand why humans waste so much time resisting their desires. I'm a rehabilitation center for drugs and sex. Mr. Goldstein, Detective mm. Chloe Decker, LAPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions about Kevin Winstead. The answer is yes. He's a douchebag. Did you know that he was murdered? No. Oh, shit, sorry. But it's nice to get good news for a change. Wow. The admin office said that you were gone for a few hours last night. While I go take a crap. Wow. What are you doing? Oh, Phil, I've had enough of your crap. <laughs> now, I know that you killed Kevin Winstead, and then an angel interrupted your escape. So tell me, what did he look Lucifer. like? Man, what the hell are you talking about, man? Did he look like me? Lucifer, stop. I did not kill Kevin. But you guys did fight. Right. And it's only because Kevin took this rehab stuff so seriously. The rest of us, it's a smoke screen. Keep our wives and jobs at bay. But Kevin wouldn't shut up about getting clean, getting his family back. He drove me nuts. So I punched him. Get his family back. But his parents are dead and he wasn't married. I don't know about any of that. 
Where were you last night? Answer, huh? Uh, 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 with hookers. Okay, fine. But only if I can borrow these. But I promise I'll bring them back. Please don't. <laughs> Ah, uh, he makes it really hard to love him sometimes. Ah! I honestly thought he was going to use them for the reason we all thought he was going to use them for. This is going to be interesting to see. Lucifer. Oh god, what'd he do? Lucifer. Oh god. What do you do? The angel of San Bernardino. See, I thought that maybe one of our siblings was in town. But Lucy, it appears that uh I am the angel. Ah oh, nice. Witnesses say the unknown Samaritan appeared to have wings. Hmm. Oh, there she is. Your casserole tastes like road count. Oh, and you stop telling stories about your children, because no one can. Okay, Linda. I mean, not Linda, Charlotte. Mm, Sally. Oh, Charlotte. It's not the clothes that make you look fat, it's the path. Oh, my God. Jesus. Charlotte, why are you being a bitch? Mm. You're pretty great, actually. Uh, thanks. And you. You are coming with me. Wait, 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 what, what, what's going on? What? I'm confused now, why is she being a bitch? But Kevin liked getting high more than he loved me. Our relationship became toxic, so I left. And when was the last time you spoke to Kevin? It's been years. Because it says here on the phone records that he called here three months ago? Every now and then he would call asking for money, for drugs. So whenever I would see his name on the caller ID, I would just hand the phone to Jeremy. And did Kevin mention having trouble with anyone, a drug dealer, maybe? Last time we spoke, he said he owed somebody a lot of money. I didn't care to ask who. Well, I'm not saying this was a complete waste of time, but it was. No, not yet. <clears throat> I'll put in a word with the big guy. With Pierce? No, think bigger. <laughs> Why would... Commissioner? It's an anadrome. For D O. I don't love how weird you are. But as you go. Or you could duck into that closet, take off all your clothes. I'll go freshen up. Meet you in there. Then do the same. That's really not a good idea. <laughs> what the hell is with you? She is losing it. Dad! Dad, it's gonna blow up in your face, bro! Kevin's run-ins with the law since he was a teenager. But getting a hit, it might take some time. So why don't you go home, get some sleep, and... I can't. Why? Because if I am this angel of San Bernardino and I go to sleep, then I might do it again. Okay, well, just don't sleep then. Hold on. That is an excellent plan, detective. I'll just never sleep again. <laughs> oh, God. Oh my god. Now the scavengers come in. Hey, boss, look at that. It's married, right? Why do you care about my relationship with my father, boo? He's losing it. LAPD. Tell me you murderous drug dealer. Was it me? A drug dealer? I'm a heart surgeon. Oh, don't even try lying to me. I know you killed Kevin Winsett. And I know you killed that intern at the hospital. Yeah. Burned her body. Only a cranium was left in the smoldering, smoldering ashes. What? Lucifer. Lucifer? Are you talking about an episode of <laughs> Bones? Possibly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I suppose I am, actually. What? Decker's the one who's gonna suffer. I gotta admit, getting her to fall for you and then poof. Banishing? Ruthless. And that's saying something coming from a demon. Why so he is I wouldn't he go to hell? Respect. 
Isn't this? I don't care who I have to hurt. See, as long as it allows me to finally die. See, wouldn't life with eternal life be better than hell? No family, no friends, no I mean, problem. And for a fee, those know? actors to pose as well, we might go to heaven because we'll feel guilty. At public functions for the sake of appearances. In fact, it's better than good. It's perfect. Now, yeah, what about that Spartan lifestyle? What can I say? Things change. Why is that? Because when you know a pair of angels, they can zip you up to heaven no. when it comes. Not fair Worrying is a waste of time. That's not how it works, Charlie. What do you mean? Okay, look. Neither I nor Lucifer have the power to get anyone into heaven. I don't have my wings, and Lucifer, well, he is uh, the most unwelcome. So the only thing that matters, Charlotte, truly is who you are. Trouble sleeping. That's, that, that is scary. That is scary. Good morning, Star. What are you doing here? It's probably best not to wake your family. Even though they're not your family. I just came from Masquerade, where a most cooperative employee helped me connect the dots. So, he used to be an actor. We're in LA, everybody used to be an actor. Mm, but not everyone gets such a cushy gig, do they? Your so called wife worried she'd no longer fit in with the classes after she'd broken off with her deadbeat baby daddy, hired you to play husband and father. Murdering? To keep the gig? That seems a tad method, don't you think? Yeah, I wasn't about to let that loser weasel his way back in here. No. no. It's like I'm not gonna let you mess it up either. <sighs> Too bad you're trespassing. <laughs> what the hell? Most kind of you to admit your guilt, but trying to kill me part less, so... <laughs> yeah. Tell me what I really want to know. <laughs> Am I the angel? Lord angel? Did I stop you from killing that old woman? What happened the night you killed Kevin? Oh, okay, I'll tell you. After I shot him, I ran out. I bumped into that old lady. There was nobody else there. She fell into some kind of religious trance, so I pulled it. She saw an angel. Was it me? No. Oh, eyes. It was a, a shadow from, from those figurines. With the figurines, the angel figurines. Did you plant the figurines? Red eyes. No, no. I, I, I touched one of them. So I took it, but it had my prints on it. I destroyed it right after, I swear. Then I had the last house. I was only trying to protect my family. It was never your family to protect, you pathetic imposter. You stole it from Kevin Winstead. Jeremy Bell, LAPD. What's happening? It's all my fault. I killed Kevin Winstead. I am a pathetic imposter. So what's it what's he doing now? I'm confused. Wait. But if you want Chloe to believe you, you have to do it right. Take it to Alan and have her do her lab thingy. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. First, back up. Tell me everything. Nah, Maze, come on, don't do that. Leave a single thing out. She's tricking him. It's just so hard to put everything together in my mind, Maze. I mean, you, you wouldn't understand. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Which is not. Like you at all. Why are you even here? She just drugged him, didn't you? Helping him? This was my idea. After Pierce told about that old lady who thought she saw an angel, that's when it all came together. Maze, come on. I planted the figurine by your bed. My neck. Still jacked from wearing those fake wings to save that dumb family in San Bernardino. You came this close the other night to waking up after I took those handcuffs off. Thankfully, handcuffs in bed. I got that. 
Why would you do this to me, Master Kim? Because I know the only thing that matters to you more than Chloe. You. Easiest way to spin you out. <laughs> I need to get to the detective! No! No, no, no! Don't go! Go! Don't! Don't! I want to watch! Oh, God! I know it's going to be terrible! You're lucky you're cute. Oh, God! No, I can't watch! Oh, I feel so bad! Let me see. I... Really... No. Like spending time with you. Okay, that's fine. It's way too early for the I know why. Because... Pierce... No, don't. I love Stop. I can't do this. What? 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 No, Marcus, don't freak out. I mean, I know that this is scary, but sometimes you you just have to take a leap of faith, you know? Hold on. Did something happen? Did, is it something I did or said? Because, look, we can take this slow. I just thought that... You're just making this too hard. What? It's not worth it. Oh, my God! I'm not worth it? No. I have to go. What? No. What the fuck? Wait, did he just check? Wait, I got. The fuck was that? Wait, is he leaving? What? So he's changing his mind. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. So Pierce changed his mind. Damn. That's harsh. Wow, wait. What the f So, he's not that- mm. I did not see that coming. That's a good plot twist. So, then he just needed to be hit like that again? What the? Oh, God. Wait, let's watch the promo first. Pierce and I broke up. He freaked out. I totally screwed this up. I need to win her back. What do you truly desire? I want her to choose me. There you go. What are you doing? Oh. Now, what? That, uh, okay, uh, God, that was, God, my mind just completely fucked. What, what's going on? I'm confused now. I don't, what is happening here? I'm locked, Go, guys, I'm in disbelief. So, uh, okay, so the mark's gone, so he can die, but now he doesn't want to die because of club, oh God. Oh guys, I'm in disbelief. I, I can't. I don't understand this. Oh, <laughs> that was a good episode. So I didn't think I, w I didn't see that coming. I honestly had no idea. So apparently, Kane's not that bad. He just I don't know. How, so that's what he needed. He needed Chloe to say she loves him. That somehow got rid of the mark. I don't know how, but it wouldn't make more sense if he fell in love with her. Although that's. I suppose he did. Hmm. 
That's harsh. That's really harsh. <laughs> alright, 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 okay. Fuck. Um, okay, sorry about the very long delay on Flash and Arrow and all that. I don't know. I, I'm really sorry about that, but I will try and do them as fast as I can. Uh, it's been Masso2010 if you want to play anything or react to anything, put the comments down below. Please like, subscribe, and see ya!